Alrighty, so this is going to be Cancer, uh, Sun, Moon, Iron as well, Rising, uh, weekly general tarot reading, um, January 20th to 26th, 2020. And uh, in case, guys, you want to get in touch with me for a personal one, uh, you just have to check the description down below of this video and there you're going to find a, a link to my website. Another thing that I want to say is this time around we are going to do the things a little bit different. I am trying to, well, as you have probably noticed the last few weeks, I'm just, you know, jumping from one way of reading the cards to the other. It's just how I'm experimenting a little bit. So this time around we're going to do a string reading, something that I very seldom do. It is because... It's just how tarot works. It works in spread. String reading, just seven cards is what I'm going to draw without a uh, specific positions and just we're going to see how it's going to go. As it refers to you, is it accurate? Is it spot on or it isn't? And uh, from there, I'm going to decide how I should proceed with the channel. So yeah, that being said, let's move into the reading itself. Now the first card is going to be for you, uh, Cancer six of swords so a rather kind of like a uh, how do you say it so when you are nervous throughout the time so that kind of a week you're gonna have why it's because the six of swords it is the card kind of like um giving a birth of this sense that you have to do something but because it is the first card and it has no position that itself speaks that you will have probably very little idea what you have to do. I mean, the, the options, the varieties, or the field in front of you is going to be vast. It's more like a person that wants to reallocate. It just it doesn't know where. I, and it's, it will be a bit baffling, and it will be a bit scary. But the thing is that throughout the week, you are going to feel that that is the, the thing. That is the threshold you have to cross. And although you may find yourself a bit afraid to do it, the more time you spend contemplating on that thing, the more you are going to realize that in reality, there is nothing that you should be afraid of. It's because any action taken, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, for one or another extent is going to improve your circumstances. So that card itself points that that is the week of actions. No matter how bold they look like, no matter how stupid they look like, it is just you got to do something for yourself in order to improve your circumstances. The second card, it is going to be the Knight of Wands. So that is a person, an individual that takes place into your life throughout the week. This is quite youthful and enterprising usually a young man, but it could be as well a woman. Well, I don't like to classify them as age and gender because court cards, they do represent archetypes. This is the standpoint of the person right now. So these people, that person has a, a youthful and enterprising a standpoint towards you. Well, the good thing about the Knights of Wands, it is that they are always ready to help and they're always ready to do whatever it takes to reach a certain goal. The negative side, as long as the goal interests them, right? So, for example, if that is someone you are romantically involved in and just, you know, things are, <coughs> excuse me, starting in between you two, well, that means that you constantly have to present them with interesting topics, kind of doing crazy stuff and showing varieties and those kind of things, you know. And also, they are quite inconsistent as well. That is the negative um traits of the knights of wands can you rely on them i could hardly i could hardly say that you can until uh, as long as they are finding you interesting and they are finding your life being interesting to them but as soon as they lose interest it is not like they are bond bond or bound by anything else to you and to your endeavors so you got to be quite careful about this one here now next one uh next card is going to be six of pentacles so six of pentacles uh, to be fair it's a bit baffling here uh, and i can relate it a bit to the six of swords six of pentacles uh, points that you may kind of feel that you do need a particular help uh, uh, kind of like emotional support you know or physical support for throughout moving through this transition that you do have with the six of swords 
Uh, the thing is, however, that at the end of the day, um, this help is only going to postpone the inevitable. Uh, and the inevitable in this case it is that you have to make the move, all right? Uh, that being said, the Six of Pentacles, it is kind of like a, a card pointing to a hierarchy that you have to keep in bear for throughout the week. And that everything flows into a, a current and you have to be a part of this current, all right? So whatever the current is moving you toward, this is where you have to be. And in another words, trust the universe. It is what the Six of Pentacles tells us here. And even if you are deprived from any kind of help, although I do suspect that this is not gonna be the case, as we saw the, the Knights of Wands is someone who is always ready to help, this help is not going to be the help you need. It is because the help you need, it is from you. Um, I don't know if uh, this is going to sound well in, in English uh, because our country, it, it, it's orthodox. Uh, I mean, it's, yeah, it's orthodox Christianity. And I think that what is written in our Bible, at least, is that uh, God helps only those who help themselves. And this is what we do have here, right? You want a divine intervention? Well, you got to help yourself. No one else can, okay? So, uh, next one. Is going to be the magician, and as we saw, as we talked about it, that is the most appropriate card we can have here. So the magician here points that this week it is you are gonna shine with a lot of personal sovereignty. It is like people are gonna see you extremely capable. People are gonna see you as well very confident, and that itself is going to breed a lot of reliability. I mean, people will wanna follow you. You are to win a lot of followers, and that is because that is probably the reason why you don't need help people who does have followers how do you think those followers are going to look at you when they see that you do need help no very well does they so that being said the magician uh, it's a card um, representing the personal self-esteem in your case cancer where your personal determination iron will uh, uh, sovereignty as well and confidence it, it allows you to make the magic happen. And what I mean the magic happen, well, I mean that thing that you have believed that you cannot pull it through, well, guess what? You do pull it through. Additionally, the Magician, uh, it's a very good card about a um, diving deeper into the uh, circumstances into one situation, or not like diving deeper, but more like raising above the situation and seeing all the circumstances around. So the things that, sh that was unclear up until this moment, it is likely to come to bear in this, in, in this week, January 20th to January 26th. Uh, but above everything else, the magician, it simply asks you to do something about it. Once again, just like the Six of Swords, uh, kind of like roll up your sleeve and uh, sleeves and just just do something. All right. It's, it, it will be the first steps. OK, but you are going to learn very quickly, especially if something you're not comfortable with, you're going to get the hang of it very, very quickly. So we are now going to the fifth card here, which is to be the Knight of Swords. We do have another person coming around. Now, this one is very intellectually agile. They're kind of tenacious, and I mean dangerously tenacious. The, the Knights of Swords are, contrary to the expected, they seemingly they take the decisions according to their logic but before they take a decision they always consult themselves with your emotions so what i am trying to say here it is that the knight of swords is going to pursue something in your life it could be you it could be something that you have or it could be that they are going to pursue something with you all right so that being said they are going to be convinced that that is something they need to do and there is nothing in the world that you can say or do to repose them of that idea so depend on what kind of a role these people take into your life will decide are they in a positive or in a negative standpoint toward or according in regards to you the negative trait of uh, the knight of sword it is ignorance it is as well tenacity and uh, ignorance and yeah it kind of like overlaps with ignorance here but they tend to overlook things which are not 
uh, pleasing them in any way, which does not serve them any favor, unlike the Knight, the King of Swords, for example, which recognizes them and does whatever it needs to overcome them or to fix them. This one kind of gives them an excuses constantly and pretends that they are not there. Um, and then we go to the uh, to the sixth one here for you, Cancer, and that will be. Uh, the Four of Wands. So Four of Wands is the card where people usually close chapters, all right? Four of Wands is, is one card pointing that a, a very important event or a very important cycle in your life is coming to an end, successful end. It is because once it ends, you do have the prerequisites to celebrate. So you can expect throughout the week that very important uh, mm, uh, enterprise or endeavor that that is a key here as well that you have put great efforts behind so you work really hard for it well finally comes to fruition uh, it could be uh, once again a, a plan that you have made and now those this plan can be manifested it could be a promotion promotion you strived for or a relationship you so much wanted either way Four of Wands, it is, uh, it is the card pointing that from now on, a bigger heights are waiting for you to conquer. No, uh, no surprise here. And these bigger heights may be exactly what petrifies you and does not. And it kind of like um, um, making you afraid of what is to come. And it's also understandable why no action is the worst thing that you can do and any action is better than no action because you are on the verge of completion of your current cycle all right and from now on you have to decide where to go next you do have the skills you do have the knowledge you just you don't know it yet and like I said you're gonna get very very quickly the hang of it so next one here which is the last card the seven one that is to be the ten of cups and um, needless to say Whatever you are heading toward cancer, I mean, you're going to love it, guys. Um, if you are after love, Ten of Wands, whatever you do throughout the week is going to lay down the foundation of it. It's just you, have, you need to have the courage to do something. That's the only issue we have for you. Have the courage to do something about it, to make the very first steps. And from there, it's gonna be like a snowball, like an avalanche, right? It goes, uh, the more it goes, the bigger it gets. And uh, Ten of Cups points that at the end of the week, the results you achieve with your bold actions and with, with your actions or decisions in general that are meant to improve your circumstances, it is exactly what they're going to do. Because you will see no problems uh, kind of like surpassing or not surpassing, but following your endeavors. You will see that uh, actually you're happy of how the things are in, uh, are unfolding. And uh, Ten of, Wands, Ten of uh, Cups, excuse me, is also a card pointing that there is more to be achieved as well so it's kind of like uh, it, it's the card that i like to say that all of a sudden or slowly progressingly your life is increasing value all right your love is, in, is increasing value your career is increasing value everything around you is increasing value it is because you did the right thing back in the days you put the your hard work in the right thing you bet in the right horse and now that comes these fruits comes to bear so uh, that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly general tarot reading for uh, January 20th to 26th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. First time I'm reading in string in front of camera. Let me know how you find it. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.